There are various reasons why there might not be worms in the soil, but it's essential to consider certain conditions and factors that may influence their presence. Worms play a crucial role in soil health, and their absence can impact the overall ecosystem. Some potential reasons for their absence might include 1. Soil conditions. Worms require specific soil conditions to thrive, including suitable moisture levels, pH balance and organic matter content. If the soil lacks these essential components, worms may not be able to survive. 2. Chemical contamination. Pesticides and other chemical pollutants can be detrimental to worm populations. These substances can have toxic effects on the worms and disrupt the balance of the soil ecosystem, making it unsuitable for their survival. 3. Temperature extremes. Worms prefer moderate temperatures and may not survive in environments that are too hot or too cold. Extreme fluctuations in temperature can also affect their presence in the soil. 4. Overtilling. Overtilling, the soil can disturb worm habitats and disrupt their natural environment. This can lead to a decline in the worm population as their burrows and nests get destroyed during the tilling process. 5. Lack of organic matter. Worms feed on organic matter and help decompose it, contributing to nutrient cycling in the soil. If there is a lack of organic material, there may not be enough food for the worms to sustain themselves. 6. Predation and competition. Other organisms, such as certain insects, animals, or even other types of worms, can prey on earthworms or compete with them for resources, potentially leading to a decrease in their population. 7. Soil compaction. Compacted soil can restrict the movement of worms and limit their ability to create burrows, which are essential for their survival. This can make the soil inhospitable for worms. To encourage the presence of worms in the soil, it's important to create an environment that is conducive to their survival. This can be achieved through practices such as adding organic matter, minimizing the use of chemical pesticides, avoiding overtilling, and promoting soil aeration. I hope you like this information. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and family.